All right, so we're back. So we're going to go ahead and work some more on this eye. And mostly we're just going to be um, polishing and bumping it in terms of just some small value changes here, small value changes there. For the rest of this, we're really going to be only using an HB. For this part, we're going to use an HB or a 2H. And I guess we should put these. So we've got that 2H there, the 4H there. And the HB here, this will be the darkest that I'm going to use from now on. And I'm going to use a 9H. Okay. Um, I also have, now this is something I, I rarely pull this pencil. Uh, you'll have these in full sets. It's called an F pencil. And the F pencil is a half step between the HB and the 2H. And so I might be, I might be using this pencil as well. In terms of our drawing here, now I want you to understand this drawing is uh, just almost just about life size. It might be just slightly more, but it's pretty close to life size. And so it's not very big. And so we've zoomed in on this with the camera. And so it's picking up a lot more texture of the paper than you would, you know, than what I can even see. And I'm just, you know, you know, maybe two feet from the, from the drawing, uh, if that, maybe 15 inches. So again, we're gonna, we've got a lot more texture that we can view in the camera. So it, it has a, a lot more texture that we can notice. Um, so what we're gonna be, the reason we're gonna be using these, these uh, H pencils is again, they'll get deeper into the texture and I'll be able to use them more slowly to build up the different values and tones that I wanna use for this drawing. And so they'll, they'll seem a little smoother. But again, because this is a normal texture and because of the fact that this um, is so it's zoomed in so close. It'd be like you you put your if you put your eye like an inch and a half away from this thing, or maybe two inches. So it's re you're really close to this thing, and so it's you're going to see a little more texture uh, than than someone would who's viewing this, you know, from a couple of feet. And uh, so, anyways, I've got my 4H pencil here. I'm using a finger swing, a very careful finger swing, and we're just going to try to make sure that we continue to create the values using this H pencil. Now I'm also using ones that are more sharpened. So in the beginning I was actually using the side of my pencil on some of these marks to uh, put in some of the values in the core shadow and other things. Um, when you do that it actually reveals more of the texture. So I'm actually going to be using more of the tip of this. Instead of the side of the pencil, I'm going to be using more of the tip. And that will give me a cleaner mark. The mark will go deeper into the paper. And that's what we want. We want this to have, you know, again, a little bit more finished quality to it. So I'm going to continue making these values using, again, this 4-H pencil. And it's, 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 it's not so sharp that it would, like, 4H is pretty, you know, this is a pretty hard pencil. And if it was sharpened all the way, it might poke through my skin. So this is slightly dull, but it's still got a pretty good tip on it, as far as that goes. And so again, I'm using this so that I get a little cleaner mark as I use this pencil. And so we're just going to continue making our values. And again, this is going to, as this fills in some of that texture, it's going to make this parts of this drawing feel darker because again, it gets deeper into the texture of the paper versus this. This is like an HB and I can really see just so much more texture there. Um, I'm going to grab my, I just want to see how my 9H will look on here. So I'm going to grab this real quick. I'm going to bring this 9H. Now again, it's, it's going to be much smoother than anything else. And again, that's what, that's, what we're, that's what we're looking for on this drawing. We're going to clean these lines up. And we want them to, to clean up with as little texture as possible. Now this lid is actually darker than anything over here. So again, I really need to build that up. I also, my iris is still a little on the light side. Again, just like anything, it's all about these subtle relationships that are going to really be what makes this drawing. It's going to make this drawing feel 
like it has form to make it feel like it has shape and all this good stuff and again I'm I'm using very soft pressure on this I want to be careful because if I'm not I'll start to inscribe lines because these are H pencils they're much harder and so you have to be very careful as we use them don't be afraid of them but at the same time respect the uh, the, the tool that you're using now some people will try to carve and make texture by actually carving into the surface with uh, some sort of a uh, you know one of these little metal tools with a little ball on it that's used for embossing and doing different things like that um, and I've seen some people use it uh, where it's effective like in a reproduction the problem is, is that when you have you know when you see something in real life your eye catches so much more nuance then again sometimes that can stand out so we can create textures in other ways we're not going to really worry about the texture of the skin with this drawing again we're not doing some sort of rendering we're not doing some sort of hyper real sort of thing that's that's not what the point is the point is we want to show that if we get the form shadows right even though this will have some texture and there's some other things going on with it if we get the if we nail down the form shadows this will look like an eye it'll look you know fairly accurate enough for us to go wow that looks that looks like an eye because what we see from a distance is really the form shadows it's not to you know if you think about it how often do you really get in there and stare at someone's eye you know that would be so that's you know someone will get really self-conscious that very quickly probably ask you to back up even if it's someone that you really care about or that someone that really cares about you we're just not used to being stared at like that and observed that closely and it can be very dis um, disconcerting for those that are that has someone all of a sudden you know really studying them like that and so we really don't we really have uh, we don't have near as much information on most people as say you know again one of these photographs where they snap it real quick and, and you have a very clear uh, look at that person's face and I'm changing my pencil now to a 2H so again, most times we're just we're, we're aware of the form shadows and some of the basic ideas of that person's face. And so that's what we're thinking about. Now, I, I did a little bit of, of blending on this in the past, and it's really softened what's happening here in the core shadow. So I need to reestablish that. So that's what I'm doing right now. I'm going to try to reestablish this uh, this core shadow here and I'm using a nine, again that 2H pencil I had that 9H for a little bit and now I'm, I've changed it out for the darker pencil which is the 2H and we're going to continue reestablishing so because again when I when I softened the shadows it blew a lot of a lot of the subtlety out of there now it was also a little rough uh, we could see some of the texture and so that was, you know, so we're going back in here to, now I just changed the angle of my pencil. Um, and so you'll see me, if, if I change my angle of my pencil like this, where it, it's almost perpendicular, again, it will get deeper into that texture. Now I, I have to, I have to lean this just so you can see a little bit more, but otherwise I'd be right over it like this and you wouldn't be able to see a thing. But again, the direction, the angle to the surface, the, the closer you are to being perpendicular to that surface, the again, the deeper the pencil will go and fill in the texture. And so it will seem smoother. And so I need to try to keep in mind that I need to keep my, my hand out of the way enough so you can see what I'm doing. But I'm just really gently building this up. I'm, I'm, I'm really trying to, again, be very gentle, a very, very light pressure very 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 light strokes uh, as far as that goes and again we're trying to define you know the shadows a little bit more because we lost some definition um, now there's a core shadow here and I'm gonna make it just a little bit clearer now you gotta be careful that you don't don't go too far with this but I and again I've got that 2H and again I'm just gonna go ahead and give just a little bit more 
of a nudge to the darkness on that on that shadow and there's a part where this again comes over here and then you know it, it kind of there's it, there's like a soft triangle triangular shape through here that's starting to happen and uh, again I want I, I need some of that to to be clear and so I'm going to work on that shape that we've got that little triangle there again I'm using this 2H pencil Again, there's, you're still going to, you know, because we're so close up, you're still going to be able to see texture. Don't think that by using this, it'll get rid of all the texture. It won't. But it'll soften it so that it'll be a little less distracting. I'm going to go back to that 9H pencil because I really want to be careful that I don't go, you know, I'm really trying to get in here. Again, I, I'm, I would actually be changing the angle so it's almost straight up and down or what we'd call perpendicular to the paper. So that, again, I could get deeper into that texture. And that way it, it looks, you know, a little less disconcerting. Like, wow, look at all that, look at all that texture. That's, that's just nuts. Um, we don't want that necessarily. So uh, we're just going to come in here and we're basically just going over every little part. Again, now usually I was, I was holding a lot, lot more to, at an angle to start. And now I'm keeping it much more perpendicular. And again, so remember that the angle of the pencil will change the mark. And for what we're doing, it will change it substantially, which is what we need. We really want that so that it, we get a really nice finish to this drawing. We're spending quite, you know, some time on this. And so for our investment of time, we want, you know, a, a nice drawing to come out of it at the very least, hopefully. And so we're going to, we're going to just going to spend the time that we have to create this. So again, we're looking at these, again, we're in the shadows. This right here is sort of the, the dark tones um, through here. We have reflected light here, and then we have a transition around an edge there. So I think that's, if I you know, take my eyes out of focus, that's looking a lot better. Again, I've got this 9H pencil once again. Uh, I'm going to come right here where it turns into shadow. I'm going to see if I can just, again, reestablish a core shadow just very slightly. It's in lighter shadow, not deeper shadow, but there would still be, again, a little bit of that, uh, of a core shadow right along there. Um, and we just keep, we're gonna maybe clean this. Uh, now this is something, this is kind of, we call, I would call this a, sort of a, the nuclear option, but what I'm gonna do is I'm going to erase to clean up the edge. The edge is just a little bumpy and frumpy and all this sort of stuff. So I'm going to race along that edge. And then I'm going to go back in with my, and I've blown some of the, the, the line out, but I'm going to go back in with my 9H. Now, there's something I should also probably mention is once you start blending, the paper will start taking the graphite differently. And so normally this, you wouldn't hardly see this at all. It wouldn't hardly show up. That's a 9H. I need a little bit darker in there. I'm going to grab this F pencil. There we go. And I'm just trying to clean up that line a little bit. That's all we're looking for. All right. That's looking, that's looking better. So again, we can come back in here. Got the 9H once again. All right, so I just I put a little bit of a gradation with that 9H. I'm going to grab the F pencil once again, see if I can reestablish this occlusion shadow because it got a little fuzzy as I was, you know, um, doing a little bit of, of blending and all that good stuff. Okay. I still got this F pencil. I'm going to see if I can, again, get just a little bit more of this core shadow that's right along there. I think that's looking pretty good. Uh, we're going to make it a transition just a little bit as this comes around the corner. So we're going to create a, a soft gradation there. 
Um, this gets a little darker right through here, and I think I need to go ahead and just put a little bit more deeper shadow through here and transition it up just a, just a bit, just a little bit. Just a scotch, as my grandmother would say. And again, we're going to come over here and around this. And again, we're going to have a little bit of this coming around there. Like so. This is then going to come around here like so. And we're going to go ahead and bring this up here just a little bit. And I think we're getting some of that, the definition into the shadows very nicely. I like what's happening there. Again, it's, it's still going to seem a, like it's got a little more texture than what it does. Again, because we're, we're, we're so close up on this. But I like where it's going. It's starting to feel like, okay, yeah, that's I can see some of the values. That's, that's what we want, where we can actually see what's happening on this. Going to reestablish that occlusion shadow just a little bit. And let's see, I think there's just a little bit I can maybe uh, use the 9H again. Very soft, very gentle, and again, it's really just about taking some of that texture out of the paper. And I'm just going to go ahead and give a little bit more of a sort of a nod is what I would call it as we are darkening some of that. Now again, this isn't about just the the um, the eyebrow, but I think the eyebrow got a little um, lost some of the its definition. So I'm going to come on over here and bring some of this back on in here. So just a little bit. Again, we're not trying to detail every little, um, every little hair in here. We're just trying to give enough of a, a feeling of hair that we can go, yeah, that looks kind of like an eyebrow. Would, would you know the? I can see some something that's kind of implies. So whenever we draw, we 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 draw a lot from implied ideas, implied. Uh, textures where we put just enough of it down to go okay I see where you're going with that yeah uh, so again we'll just go ahead and again I could get into this a little bit more I mean you could really get get into this eyebrow you gotta be careful with that though too because if the eyebrow has more texture and more detail than the eye people are going to be checking out the eyebrows more than they're going to want to look at the eyes so again we are trying to do this with you know some you know, deciding what it is, again, if it was, a, if it was maybe you know, for someone, a salon where they sculpted eyebrows that was really famous, well, then again, I might really pay attention to those brows, uh, the eyebrow, because it's, it's about an eyebrow, it, you know, just like we would do in commercial, you know, if you have a commercial illustration, you had to know, hey, what, do, what am I doing here? What am I, pl what am I playing up? And if it was something about, if you're like, well, I want someone to look into this person's eyes and, and see you know, everything they are, and and I'm grabbing my 2H now, and all that good stuff, well then, I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to, I'm going to play down the eyebrow a little bit so they look more at the eye and not at the eyebrow. So, again, that's about all I'm going to do with this eyebrow, just enough information that we go, okay, I can kind of see what I would, you know, kind of some hairs there and some stuff. Um, and I under and that that seems like that would be right. Um, we're also going to come in here a little bit. And again, I've got this. I've got a two H now. If I didn't say that. And we're going to go ahead and with this two H, we're going to start to.
just again try to fill in some of the value try to get a subtle gradation this actually has a soft it starts to wrap so that some people will talk will talk about these are some of the minor planes some of the minor gradations we've got enough of the major gradations that now we can get a little more of the subtlety this has a slight gradation coming this way and then you know through here just a bit more All right, we can go ahead. Again, I've got a 2H pencil. And again, I'm just trying to get just a little bit more of the gradations in here. And again, I think what's going on around the eye is really starting to look, you know, it's, it looks good. It, it has, you know, it's creating some of those illusions of what I want to have it look like. Uh, there's some light middle value through here. I could start to deal with uh, just a little bit. Again, very, very light, very gentle. 2H pencil. Through there. So again, just some of the real subtle stuff that's happening this eye. Now we're actually going to come back in here. We're going to start to try to, I think I'm going to use that, that F pencil or an HB. Either one would work for this. You don't have to have a specialty pencil to do this. This just gives me a little more range because of that half step. But I'm going to try to use this to darken up this line around the, you know, the top eye lid. like so. Uh, we have really neglected the, the tear duct, so I need to come into this tear duct here and do a little bit of work on this. So there's... Tear duct is actually, because it's uh, normally got quite a bit of, of um, the capillaries that are in it, and so you, it's very red and pink because of the capillaries in the blood. And so it's darker than the sclera. Now in this picture, that's not entirely clear. So I'm going to use my knowledge of this and go, hey, look, I know that it doesn't seem like it's a whole lot different in this picture, but I'm going to make sure that at least I have in some spots that this um, tear duct is a little darker than the sclera. Uh, again, I'm using this F pencil. I'm probably going to actually put that down and grab that 9H pencil once again. And using the 9H, I'm going to come back in here. And again, I'm trying to keep that pencil a little bit more vertical than what I did before. And so we can just get a little bit of this tear duct. What's going on in there? We're also, there's again a little bit of the membrane that wraps up this eye. That, again, that's part of the, you know, the membrane that wraps it and helps, you know, so you can, you, can, you know, turn that eye and stuff. Um, and then we're gonna, I'm going to clarify some of the cast shadow on the top. And there's a little bit of, sometimes you'll see this, where you'll get just a little bit of sort of reflected light here in the corner. And this is oh so subtle, so you got to be careful, otherwise it doesn't look right. But there's a little bit of almost, it's really the reflected light, but it makes it look a little bit like there's a core right through here, but it's again, it's more the fact that there's reflected light over here. And so this is just a little bit darker. And again, if I'm not really careful with this, it won't look right. Now I've used, I'm using this 9H pencil. And again, this seems so dark and that's, a lot of that's because of the fact that I start smearing stuff around and it's, it roughs up the paper slightly. And so again, this is the lightest pencil that they make. And it's actually, you know, in a lot of places, it looks fairly dark because of the fact that, again, the, the paper's been roughed up a little bit. Um, so I just want to keep that in mind as I'm, there's a little bit of an occlusion shadow that I could darken just a little bit right through there. Uh, again, with this 9H pencil. This, um, again, I'm going to try to see if I can make just a little bit more of a transition to 
some of the sclera here in the eye. And now again, I've also got to re remind myself that I'm dealing with graphite. The graphite again is not is not the same as charcoal, and so I can't go as dark. So I'm also going to lighten my middle values and my my light values a little bit, so that my dark still seem dark. And uh, so that's another thing we're going to keep in mind as we're, as we're dealing with this, that we are changing stuff ever so slightly because of the fact that we have a material. Now, I'm, I'm pinching out a little blade on this, and I'm going to lighten that little occlusion shadow just as a little dark as it comes out here. So I'm going to thin it up a little bit and lighten it up, and I like how that looks. And we're going to get this 9H pencil in here. And see if I can get this F, see if I can get just a little bit more darkness into that right there. Um, just a bit like that. I'm going to go ahead and grab my 9H again. I'm going to come into the iris. The iris is really, you know, in the pupil, all that, that's that window to the soul that we hear that we hear people talk about you know this is where people's attention is really should be i would hope that i've done my drawing right and i'm just going to see if i can get my circle again it's a little it was a little tattered a little fuzzy on the ends so i'm gonna see if i can just kind of clean this up a little bit again there's just a little bit of um just a little bit of a you know, sort of a breaking out right through there. I get this 9H again. I'm going to come over here. I'm going to try to clean this up just a little bit more. I'm also going to try to see if I can come in here with um, just a couple of lines in a couple places again to be those spindle fibers or what have you. Um, I've got to be careful that they're not uniform. Right now they are a little bit, and that will that will just kill the illusion of what they are, but I don't want too many of that. I don't, again, we're not trying to do photorealism here. That's not what we're about, but we want enough of a nod, as I like to say, so that we go, oh yeah, that, that looks, sure. Yeah, that looks like an eye. And so that's what we're doing. We're just, we're, we're getting enough that we go, yeah, that, that looks fine. That looks great. That looks like an eye. What we're not trying to do is, again, try to, again, overly render. We're trying to really accentuate the form shadows. And when we start rendering, we, we play down the form shadows and you actually start to flatten stuff out a bit. And so it's a game. How much is enough information and how much is too much information? And that's what the artist continues to ask himself in the beginning of his drawing. As far as that goes. Now again, I'm going to go ahead and lighten this occlusion shadow. It's got a little too little too dark but it's also a little too light up here on on the ridge because this is actually a little bit in the in the half tone and so I'm going to go ahead and there's also these little highlights on the end of uh, of this uh, a lid so I, I, I I'm gonna have to deal with that in a minute but I'm gonna start to bring the value coming around this lid a little bit And if I had an a, a electric eraser, I could very quickly just, you know, pull out some of those, those lights very quickly. But I don't, so I'm going to have to be a little more subtle with it. Okay. The top also has to be lighter than the side. This again is that side lid. So we're gonna we're gonna you know work and try to deal with that. I'm gonna come over here and I can start to pull. Again, some of the uh, there's again this is a wet there's a lot of wetness on the on the eye, so you get highlights. As you can imagine, there are highlights on this eye, 
And so now I just pinched out a blade and I, I'm going to see if I can angle this so you can see it, but I'm drawing with this. I'm just creating a, a, a white little line there. Then I'm then going to come in here with my, with my pencil or what, and I'm going to take my pencil and I'm going to modify that just a little bit. So the, the, it has like a little tiny highlight and then there's like two right together that are a little bigger. And again, we're not going to, this isn't about photorealism. Again, I've got a little blade. I'm going to just tap right on that to kind of, it, it lost some of the lightness in there. So I can use that. I can also go the other direction where I come right next to that highlight and I bring just a little bit of value right next to it. That will make that shine just a little bit more. And that's what we're looking for. Just bits here, just little bits there. That's where this is really going to come together as we're dealing with this. There's also a little highlight you know, there's the tear duct has, you know, there's moisture on the, on the eye that's going to catch the highlights. It's going to, it's what makes it look wet, you know, and of course the eye needs to be wet or it would, you know, wouldn't work as well if it was dry, you know, the dry eye, that's a horrible thing to have because it, your eye doesn't, it doesn't work as well if it's all dry in there. So, Again, I, I pulled a little bit, and then I'm going to come over here right next to where I pulled along there, and I'm going to darken just a, a little bit on either side. And we're, I'm, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to make it so that that little bit looks lighter. I've pinched out another blade. I'm going to go ahead and use this and go along that edge right where there's a highlight right there. And again, it doesn't look light right now because what's around it is not dark enough for it to look like a highlight. But if I came in here and just darken this down, again, I've got my 9H pencil. Uh, I'm using a finger swing, so I'm being very cautious that way. Um, it's going to start to look like it has more depth. Now, the sclera has started to look like it's maybe a little too dark. And that's usually because, if you know, my shadow side you know, has gotten too, has, is, 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 in, is not dark enough. And so we can just come in here really quickly and put a little bit of a gradation on there. Okay. All right. Now again, this is probably a little bit, this is too light through here, so I'm going to go ahead and just knock this back. In other words, darken it just slightly with that 9H. So that begins to lay back just a little bit, which is what we want. Okay. So we've got all this, this, uh, this wonderful subtlety through this eye. And the subtlety is what we want. Right. There's also a little bit of sort of low reflected light right through here. Or, you know... Um, kind of like a low highlight, I guess we could call it, or whatever. And so, just catching a little bit of that eye. And I also have lost a little bit of the cast shadow, so I'm going to go ahead and try to bring just a little bit more of a gradation down from here for that cast shadow. And I think we're starting to get, again, this illusion, the illusion of, of depth is again fleeting if we don't have all the stuff it's it's very hard to to create that illusion but i think we're starting to get it where it's happening here for us um and that's good news so again we've got we've got this this eye i think this eye is still a little we're going to work with the pupil now Again, I've still got this 9H pencil, and I'm going to bring a gradation darker, getting lighter as it comes down, but it is going to darken some of this iris. Okay, so again, and I don't know if you can hear that, but again, that's catching texture. And again, that's because I use those, um, 
blenders in the very beginning. If we didn't do that, the only way to keep this good and clean would be to take copious amounts of time with the H pencils and just layer and layer and layer and layer in order for it to build up. And it would have a little more richness. But again, for you can, you're not going to be able to really see that through the camera. And we certainly didn't want to turn this into some 13 hour drawing for some little tiny eye. But Again, it gets darker as it comes up. It gets darker as it comes up here. And it's so dark we almost can't see the pupil anymore because this is, this is someone with probably a, a brown eye, at least a light brown eye. And so again, the, it begins to disappear as that goes up into the, into the eye, okay? And again, we, we've got this, let's clean this edge up here. This is starting to be just a little, and again, I've got, I've just got this 9H. And again, I think we're going to come over here uh, with this 9H. We're going to come under, there's just a little bit of a shadow that really accentuates the bottom of the lid about halfway out, a little bit more than even back here in some ways, because we get just a little bit of this getting a little lighter and then this ridge kind of goes darker, and that's that gives you that that illusion. There's also a little bit of a of a light that we've kind of blown out. I need to reestablish it right through here. It gets lighter again. There's a little bit of light there. Now I made that I blew it out. I made it too light. And now I'm going to go back in there and I'm going to darken it down just a bit. And I'm trying to make it into a little bit of a gradation. Um, we don't want to pull too much attention. It's not supposed to. So we've got to be careful that that's not what it's doing. Just changing the shape of it a little bit to, to match a little bit more. There's also um, some of these, uh, some tones here that are a little bit lighter as they come closer to that. And so that's what I'm doing right now is I'm trying to kind of create that. Now this needs to have a little bit of a transition, so I'm going to come over here with this 9H and try to turn that into a gradation. Yeah, so I think we're looking. I think we're looking pretty good here. I'm gonna take this F pencil again. I think there's a couple places where we're just gonna, once again, try to reestablish a little more, you know, through here. Maybe through there. I'm gonna actually use my HB. I think because that's a little darker. And just a little bit, and that's all we're looking for. A little bit goes a long, long way. Okay, I think we're looking good. So I think what we're going to do to finish this out, this uh, this lid here is now darker, which is what we wanted. This should be darker than anything here, and I think we're we're doing a pretty good job of that. I think we're going to put just one more layer on here, and see if I can bring it down just a little bit more. Okay, so. As it comes down here again, it's going to get darker. I'm going to use that 9H pencil again. I think it's just getting too dark too quickly. I jumped quite a few steps from an HP to a 9H. But again, I think this is darker up here, which is what we wanted. And I think that's a little, you know, we've got a little more clarity because of that. We've got, again, a little bit more. I think we're going to use the HP pencil. Maybe in here just a little bit, see if I can get a little bit more out of that. And I think we're actually going to do one more thing uh, in this 
in this. I'm going to use the 9H to see if I can get a little bit of a transition coming down out of that cast shadow. Um, now if I wanted to soften it in there, again, I could either use a brush, I could, I could take a little Kleenex, Kleenex, because again, there's some, there's some texture on this iris, not the iris, pardon me, the white of the eye of the sclera. And so I'm going to go ahead and just, and then also lighten that just a bit. I think that's exactly what I wanted. We're going to do this the same thing right here. I'm going to just go ahead and stroke this just very shortly along that. I stroked it right along here just to, just to soften that up a little bit. Now, if you wanted to, uh, again, I don't always use these, but I grabbed one of these because, again, sometimes this can be a nice way to very gently, this is just a cotton Q-tip, uh, soften that just a little bit. I blew out the line a little bit, so I'm going to come back in here, put that back in. Again, we're going to crisp this up a little bit. And again, the iris seems like it's much darker than it was before. Now, I've been using all these H pencils. I said that's all I'm going to do, but for this iris, I'm going to see if I can get in here just a little bit more with a 6B pencil and see if I can just up here towards the transition into the shadow of the eye. See if I can get just a little bit more using the 6B pencil. All right, and I think we're at the very end now of this. We could, again, I could spend another couple hours playing with these games uh, by games, I mean, you know, try to get the, the core shadows to read just a little bit better, try to get the nuances to read just a little bit better. That's what takes the biggest time. But I think we're to the point where we want to go ahead and create some of the eyelashes. Now, remember, the eyelashes we're going to use, I'm going to have to twist my arm in a strange direction so you can see this, are going to be these soft sort of triangles. We want to make sure that they don't, that they have a connection. If we're not careful. We don't want spider eyelashes. Um, we talked about that in the previous video with, where we talked about drawing an eye. And so we're going to go ahead and again just put, just an indication again, this is not we're not trying to do, again, photorealism. So, uh, and this is not an eyelash, you know, commercial for, you know, somebody that, that that's whatever, got, that's selling, you know, mascara or something. Uh, so we're just going to go ahead and just get some little bits of these, these tips of the eyelashes. And they're actually going to be coming down and then rounding out. So, and again, right now they're kind of equally spaced. That's a big no no. So I'm going to go ahead and make some a little thicker, some a little shorter, some a little longer, change some of the spacing. Now, usually you have several eyelashes that will start to point together to make a Again, a soft sort of a triangle. And so I don't have a lot of this happening just yet, and I need more of that. You also have these eyelashes that are coming down and then curling up, coming down and curling up. So they're actually gonna come, they're gonna come down and cover some of that, the, um, that bottom lid. So again, we just need just enough to indicate. Again, we're not trying to, again, show that this is exactly, you know, again, a uh, photorealistic drawing. That's not what this is. But we still want to see enough that we go, okay, yeah, that looks like that could be eyelashes. A little bit. Why not? 
Now again, these eyelashes, because of the perspective, and I'm looking down on them, they're not coming up very far. So I'm, I'm, I'm lengthening them just a little bit so we see just a little bit more of the lash so we understand what it is we're seeing. This again is where I'm using my artistic license, as people will call it, to change things just slightly so that they have, uh, so it makes more sense. Um, we're going to go ahead and I think this got a little bit low, so we're going to trim this up just a bit. And that's where the lashes were coming down before they turn up. I'm going to grab this 2H pencil, try to reestablish some of that degradation under there. Too rough. I'm going to grab the 4H, see if this is going to help a little bit more. Um, and again, we just want enough where we're looking to see a few of those eyelashes. Same thing here. We're going to go ahead and put a couple of eyelashes coming off the bottom here, the bottom lid. Now the bottom lid obviously has fewer lashes than the top lid. We don't want to just do one, one lash and then a couple feet then one lash. They do have a little bit of grouping, especially towards sort of the middle of this. And so you want to put a couple together uh, and then, you know, skip and maybe there, you know, you want some variation with this. They say variation is the spice of life and we certainly want some of that with my, with our eye. Now again, if I, w if I was wanting to, if I had, you know, a electric eraser, I could come in here, uh, you know, with a very sharpened little tip. And, and pull out some some small, you know, some small little bits down here to give it just a little bit more punch. Uh, some people have been using like um, some multimedia. They'll come in here with one of those gel pens. Uh, that might look fine again for the uh, for the camera, but close up, you're gonna be. It's gonna be like, whoa, what's what's that about? Because you can tell that, that we've you've changed the rules. Now you're doing multi, you know, mixed media. And if you're not careful, that it'll, it'll again start to stand out like, wow, what's that? Um, so we're not going to use any of that on, on our drawing right here. And again, I think we're, we've got, you know, given just enough. Uh, I think there's a couple of these lashes I need to kind of see if I can cut into here, this, this direction, just a bit. And then I'm going to go back in with the 4H where I, I, I pulled some of that out and just knock it back just a little bit. But there's just enough. And again, this almost looks like it's getting thicker as it goes out. That's a big no-no. You know, you don't want your you don't want your lashes to be getting smaller as they come out. Again, triangles, not inverted triangles, which is what sort of what was going on there. And so, I'm going to grab my again my my pencil here. All right. Again, we're going to get some. some Got to be careful with this, but there's going to be some, you know, of the uh, eyel eyelashes that are can reflect down into there. But if you're not careful, if you don't do it right, um, and again, I don't think I'm going to play with it too much because again, it's very easy to start making. It starts to look like. Um, you know, like the capillaries in the eyes, and it can just make the eye look much more harsh. And I don't think it's that important for this one. If I was doing something more hyper real, well, we would really design that a lot closer. Uh, I think that we could do a couple, just a couple things that'll help this a little bit. Again, I think there's a couple, there's some spacing here uh, between some of these lashes. I can pull just a little bit and also put a little bit of the light values on the top of that lid just a little bit, I think will go a long way towards giving this eye a little bit more depth. Okay, so this is the eye that we've created using all the concepts from the previous video.
All right, so we've got you know our our different form shadows, three shadows, core shadow, dark tone, reflected light, and then of course highlight, light values, and middle values. So go ahead and give this a shot and do your best. Try to draw an eye and have yourselves a great day. Bye bye now.